Good afternoon. How would you like half a million dollars? Uh, excuse me? You're the owner, right? I'm looking to purchase your shop, and I'm willing to pay well over market rate. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not looking to sell. My offer is very generous. I'm sorry, but uh, no amount of money would change my mind. I wouldn't be too sure of that. I'm talking enough money for you to retire in style and comfort. Aren't you even a little curious? Some things are more valuable than money. Uh, is there anything else I can help you with? A uh, couple of fritters, they're the best in the city. It's a um, neighborhood tradition. No. Wow. You weren't joking when you said you could close this deal quick. Nice job. I didn't close it. Not yet. What? You promised us that you had this deal in the bag. I do. This is just a small hiccup. I'll convince her to sell, and once I do, we can tear down this entire block and build a brand new, highly lucrative shopping center. You're all looking at 20 to 50% return on your investment, so trust me. Trust, this is business. You're asking us to make a multi-million dollar investment in this grand plan of yours. If it fails, I'll make sure your company goes down with it. You're worried about nothing. I'll have the whole thing wrapped up in no time. Now you sound like your father. Always making big promises, then coming up small when it mattered most. And what happened to my father? You bought him out. That's right. And rebuilt this company into the success it is today. My father didn't have the stomach for this kind of work. I do. This ain't my first rodeo. And I know exactly how to deal with stubborn people like her. What am I supposed to be looking for? How should I know? You're the building inspector. Find a violation. Any violation I can use to shut our business down. Don't give me that look. Chop, chop. I'm telling you, this will work. There he is. I'll call you back. So what'd you find? Not a thing. What do you mean? I mean, the owner's on top of everything. She's got everything up to code. There has to be something. I'm sorry, Tim. I was as nitpicky as I could be, but she's got all her bases covered. I'm gonna need for you to come through for me on this one. The future of my entire company is riding on it. I just can't make up a violation. I'm not asking you to make something up. I'm asking you to find something. There is no way this old lady has her shop up to code. Just get it done. Nothing? You gotta be kidding me. Everything is in perfect shape in there. I'm sorry. That can't be. There is no way I'm letting that old bag win. What about our food handler's license? People are always forgetting to renew those. Come on. Tim, she seems like a nice lady. I don't want to hassle her again. Just check, will you? Ah, did you change your mind about getting an apple fritter? <laughs> you won't regret it. Oh, sorry, no. I forgot to check your food handler's license. I need to check that off of my list before I head back to the office. Certainly, I got it right here. Here you go. Oh no. What is it? This license has expired. Oh, no, it can't be. It must be a mistake. How did that happen? I, oh, I must have forgotten to renew it last year. I'm afraid this is a serious violation. I have to shut you down immediately. Shut me down? No, I mean, I mean, there must be something that we can do. This license is over six months expired. I can find you up to $20,000 for each month you've been operating without a license. Oh, I, I, you can't do that. I mean, that will ruin me. I won't if you shut down immediately. Then you will be required to appear before the National Accreditation Board to plead your case and apply for reinstatement. How long would that take? Anywhere from 12 to 
18 months. Well, no, 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 you can't shut me down for that period of time. I would never be able to reopen, please. I mean, this place is a neighborhood institution. I'm sorry. Well, it's out of my hands. Well, your license was expired. I closed it down effective immediately. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Excellent work, my friend. You're awfully happy about an old woman's shop getting shut down. Oh, yeah, it's a relief. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're close. Even for opportunity, knocking the second time around, I'm giving you a chance, another chance to take up my offer. Only this time, I'm willing to go over 20% market rate. Because I'm a nice guy. I'm still not interested. You don't have a choice. We both know you can't afford to stay closed while you wait to get your license renewed. I'm offering you a lifeline here. You wouldn't understand. Try me. My husband opened this shop over 35 years ago. He built it from nothing, and he turned it into a jewel of the neighborhood. He loved this place, and people loved him. Then he got sick, real sick. When he was in the hospital, I took over the management, tried to my best, but on the night that he passed on, I made a promise to my husband that I would keep this place open no matter what. It was his dying wish. You've done a noble job for years, but isn't it time to let yourself off the hook? It isn't about me. <laughs> it's not even about my husband. He didn't open this shop for the money. He opened it because he wanted to bring joy to the community that he loved. So, somehow, some way, I'm going to get this place reopened because that's what Harry would want. Well, what's the matter? Nothing. It's just, um, your hair, he sounds a lot like my father. He, he started a company too. He loved his job, loved helping people start their own businesses. I remember going to work with him when I was just a kid. I asked him why he chose that line of work. And he said he didn't start a company to make money. He just wanted to help build and grow the community that had been so good to him and our family. Mm. And the funny thing is, I took that as a sign of weakness. Like my dad didn't have the stomach to make the tough decisions necessary. To... So I bought him out. He pretended to be proud of my success. But I always knew deep down he was gutted by what I did to him. He passed away before I could apologize. I think you've given me a way to make things right. I know you're not interested in selling the business, but would you be open to taking on a partner? One that knows how to work the system and how to speed up the renewal process? Hey, look what I got, just in time for the reopening. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. What are you trying to pull here? You were supposed to close this place down, not keep it afloat. Well, plans changed. 
Vanessa helped me remember why my father started this company to begin with. It wasn't just to make a profit. It was to help the community and small businesses just like this one. <laughs> so you're willing to just walk away from a multi-million dollar deal just to save one little donut shop? Some things are more valuable than money. <laughs> like knowing you're helping the community. Here I am thinking you're smarter than your father. But I guess I was wrong. You just like him after all. Thanks for saying that. Hey, you should try the fritters. They're amazing.